Wonderland. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Aaron Hilliard. Thanks for tuning in to Mushroom Wonderland. And on this video, I'm gonna take you on a journey into the mountains of Colorado to a small town called Telluride, where one evening I met up with the great Alan Rockefeller, a mycologist from Oakland, California. And uh, we did a night foray where we looked for mushrooms with black lights. These aren't necessarily glow in the dark mushrooms like bioluminescent mushrooms, but we were looking at fluorescent mushrooms and plants. And if you're a fan of Alan Rockefeller, this video will probably suit you. If you don't know who he is, he's kind of a big deal. Look him up on the internet. So sorry about the shaky footage. It's a little bit rough and it was tough uh, walking around in the pitch black trying to film things uh, with a camera when we're trying to use black light. So please excuse the film work a little bit, but still tons of good information. So thanks for joining and check out this video on Mushroom Wonderland. Much love everyone. I'm here in Telluride at the Mushroom Festival in August of 2022. Right now I'm gonna go down to the gondola. It's almost 10 o'clock tonight. I'm gonna meet Alan Rockefeller and some other people. We're gonna ride this gondola way up the hill into the mountains and uh, go uh, foraging mushrooms with black lights. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're talking all about mushrooms here on Mushroom Wonderland. Give a thumbs up if you like content like this and leave a positive comment. Come with me to go meet up with Alan. All right, come on. We're here with Alan Rockefeller. How you doing, Alan? Hi, I'm doing well. Good. So what are we gonna be doing here tonight in Telluride, Colorado? Black light mushroom for it. So we're gonna ride this gondola. Up to and, the top uh, and then look for mushrooms up there. Do you know where some mushrooms are right now? Or I went up we there just... last night, so they're probably still there, the ones we saw. Okay, got a little idea what we're doing. Sweet, well thanks for joining Mushroom Wonderland. And uh, let's go check out what's up on the hill. Yeah. We got quite a little crowd gathering here. Are you? Yeah, you have a black light. I have three of them. Yeah. Well, I think on Art Good Times is the person who said he wanted to do this, so I just texted him. I think he like started the festival or oh. something like that. Are you going up the gondola? Yeah. To the, to to the top. Just, just the very top. Yeah, not not over to Mount Village. No. Okay. We tried Mountain Village too last night, but it was easier to walk up at the top. It's pretty flat, kind of, right there. Yeah, which is nice. Okay, so we're gonna take this gondola just up to the first stop, and then just kind of walk down the trail to the left and see what we can find. Thank you! <laughs> I think we're mostly just in that patch of woods back there. We didn't get very far, so hopefully there's more woods up here. Are there any that natural glow out here? Uh, that's pretty rare at high elevation, but Mycena pura might. Oh, okay. Do they have Omphalotus around here? Like Zappaludens, maybe. Really? But it's pretty rare. Yeah, I've never seen one. I don't think we get them out west. Yeah. That looks like myophyllum. Oh, okay. Chicken. Myophyllum de Castis group. Fried chicken. And then we got. That's mm -hmm. uh, Apioperdon pyroforme. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's cool. Okay, so it's studded puff balls and fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that means. Uh, yeah, the. Yeah, does anyone want it? 
You can have these two. What are, are those edible too? If they're still white inside, they seem a little more mature. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah, puff, puff Yellowish off. inside. <laughs> yeah. But those Thank are good. So People look for them. Yeah, fried, well, I might put like this a fried in chicken tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's see if I've ever done a night foray on an unfamiliar mountain. <laughs> in the dark. Pitch black. Not just dark, it's like dark, dark. So if it's bioluminescent, it makes its own light, and then fluorescent it just turns ultraviolet light into uh, visible light. Yeah. Wow. The rusalas usually have a lot of fluorescent chemicals. Oh, oh look at that. There's a lot of light coming Whoa, up. Beautiful. No this is going way. Right oh, yeah. So that's, wow. uh, that looks like maybe a piece of moss or something, because yeah. that's the uh, kind of red you get from chlorophyll. Oh. That is but. so cool. Oh, that's so cool. beautiful. <laughs> So Alan, what's the main reason to use uh, UV and right, go by night? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you can see like a different perspective <laughs> and everything. So you find a little fluorescent stuff. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Because these things, they definitely look way different in the day. Like you can't really see that sap at all in the day. I'm sure. Yeah, the pine sap. It's always fluorescent. So what do you got here? So here's a nice rusula. Oh. Like a focus. Nice. And I got some lichens too. So here's this lichen is showing up red. That's probably the algae in the lichen. I can see the roots on the bottom. So that's peltigera. And then here's another, another one here. <laughs> but, yeah. Is that bioluminescent or? Fluorescent. Oh, that's fluorescent. So bioluminescent, we can turn all the lights off and it would glow. Oh, okay. Cool. Fluorescent just converts the wow. UV into visible. So does that have something to do with the color of the of the spores? It has something to do with the chemicals that are present in the mushrooms. Okay. So this just allows us to like sense different chemicals. What color spore does that mushroom have? It's either white or yellow. Kind of the are color. always somewhere between white and that's ochre. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this one's too young to really have any mature spores. There is a tricholoma that glows super bright up here in black light. It's tricholoma smithii. And then here's the peltigera. Look very this, this reddish thing is peltigera, and then I got an orange lichen. Nice. And there's some different oh. orange lichen on. Oh yeah, the cap is beautiful. It's like a oh, almost co like well. a light scout <laughs> cobalt almost. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Oh, and I can tell you've been touching Rusula because you have the pigment from the Rusula on your finger. Yeah. Guilty as charged. We found some Andrew. really cool aspen leaves last night. They had these like glowing. They look kind of like a glowing liquid almost. So. So what kind of light are you using? So this is a 365 nanometer light. Okay. And it's, a it's just C8, black light? Convoy C8 Firefly. Yeah, it's ultraviolet. How much would one of those cost you? This one's 100, though there's one that's almost as good that's 40. Now here's a pretty grass if you want to shoot that. What, oh, is it a certain kind of grass? Yeah, certain species do this. I guess a bunch of different species do it, but then a lot of them don't. Yeah. Uh -huh. like that kind of looks like a different species there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A slightly different shade of blue. Like that one's more mm -hmm. sea green, mm -hmm. and that's more of a deep blue. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This has got to be a Cortinarius. It smells like, like a Cortinarius. That? There's mm -hmm. a lot of fluorescent Cortinarius. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's definitely got that Cortinarius smell. I got it for you. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Oh, yeah. That looks like that same wow. species we've been yeah. seeing. Holy it's moly! Like a really nice Can one. we smell this one? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. So when you put KOH on the stem, it doesn't do much, but you put KOH on the gills and it makes it fluoresce bright yellow. Yeah. Wow. Look at That's the pigments awesome. washing off on your fingers, too. Mm -hmm. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Cool. What's KOH? That's uh, potassium. Potassium hydroxide? Yeah, this, uh, the stem <laughs> apex. Just the biologist. Yeah. <laughs> but down <laughs> more near the... Oh, that's right there. Yeah. yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah, there's so much. <laughs> so many possibilities. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Whoa. That's a nice color change. Fun. See, it's orange on the top of the stem bulb and then yellow on the base. Huh. It's like highlighter yellow. A lot of this stuff is like really taxonomically significant for Cortinarius, like yeah. in similar to California Cortinarius, so you can't really identify them without a black light. Hmm. Without a black light, really. Yeah.
So do you, wow. so Curious what, what that diversity in fluorescence like signifies. Definitely like, different chemicals. Just different mm. chemicals yeah, yeah. present, do yeah. You know, yeah. Do you know what the chemicals are that make them glow? Like no. Mm. In lichens, people know. Okay. So mm. you see, like, see a fluorescent lichen, and the lichen people just tell you exactly what chemical mm. it is. Uh -huh. But in mushrooms, it's not really studied. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm fluorescent. I had to wear it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, what are we looking at? Equus. 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 You see the the moths definitely are attracted to them. Mm -hmm. we, we were looking at a moth w with uh, regular light, and then we turned on the UV and we couldn't see it. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of the moths aren't fluorescent at all. Yeah, not at all. It, and then when we turned on the regular light, it flew off. It was like, whoa. Okay. Yeah. That works? Yeah. Cool. Sweet. So cool. Yeah, there's a... Uh, I really need it. Oh. If anybody needs some cleaner for soap or shampoo, that's yeah, what yeah. we used to use it for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, for clean. It's, it's like so. It's got a lot of silica in it. Yeah. And I wonder what the bright spots are. I wonder because yeah. they all and have why? it. So oh, yeah. it's it's just fungus, or yeah. could it be the the node where it's coming out? Yeah. 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 yeah they're kind of evenly spaced. Yeah, they're kind of even kinda, spaced. Well, somewhere. Somewhere. Straight out of Avatar, though. Isn't it? Yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> 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 I want, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It looked like a red almost. What was that right there on the ground? Red roots. Oh, that's... Hey, Rye, what's that red stuff? Um, I, wow. I think it's little, little star bumps. Little, little lichen flowers? Yeah, little star moss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. wow. Cool. Almost all the rusulas here are undescribed, yeah. so it'd be really surprising if it had a name. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's Is this the term Aurelium? Aureum, A-U-R-E-M. But most of the books are called Thea Lepiota Aurea. Oh, Aurea. Yeah. Aurea. Yeah. Aurea. Mm -hmm. What a cool textured uh, annulus going on. Yeah. Just go and find the biggest mushroom. Yeah. 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 I can get it. What's that? No, no. I don't want to. Yeah. Alan? I kind of want to see what that's just doing. I want to see what this looks like, too. We're calling it Phalox, but it's not. Are you calling it what? Sister Dorma Phalox. Sister Dorma Phalox? Sister Dorma Phalox. I would think so. Wait, me? Alan? There's like, uh, if you have like a settings or... They get a lot grass. Yeah, so I want to hold that. Yep. Grass. Oops. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Eat, you Eat a little piece. <laughs> <laughs> what kill you, man? Thank you. Mm -hmm. One dollar. Oh See? my gosh, it looks like a looks palm awesome, tree. right? Yeah. Wow. What? Can I zoom in? I see that. Yeah, yeah. Like right in here. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. Yeah. It looks like a Christmas ornament or something. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Papa Noel's. Maybe what? set up like a nice camera and did long exposure on that and just kind of pan the light all over it. You could make it look really cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for the walk in the woods and yeah, you're teaching us yeah, about thanks some. Yeah, so uh, That was really, really cool to experience and see that. Uh, Fun little uh, night hike. Yeah. Can I ask yeah, you, you should get one of these black lights. Do you use that um, for foraging just as like, a, I don't know, to make it a little easier or yeah. do you do it just purely? Uh, uh, it's like mostly like for it fun and, and just then like take really pretty photos and stuff. But yeah. it like cool. turns mm -hmm. red under the light, which is really, really cool. Hey, so that was the video with Alan Rockefeller. What a pleasure to go walking around up in the mountains of Colorado with him at night. Uh, it was a little bit tough to follow a lot that was going on. and. You know, we, but we did definitely get to see some interesting things. So stick around. I'm going to be showing more of uh, the trip that we took to Telluride as well as like a full length uh, travel documentary about our trip to Telluride to the Mushroom Festival. And uh, so hit that notification bell and stay tuned to Mushroom Wonderland coming up. We got so many cool videos coming out and fall is about to hit, which means big mushrooms here in the PNW. So a lot of ID videos. And I'm going to be doing some live forays on YouTube uh, coming up. 
uh, probably in a month from now. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next episode. Much love everyone. Peace out.